Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikan and today's video will gonna check how to check if an array or list contains duplicate. Okay, so just we need to have either true or false. If a list contain uh, duplicate, then return true. If it is not containing duplicate, then return false. Okay, so uh, this is not important from uh, interview perspective but if you'll consider uh, in your project or while developing application this is very helpful okay so today we'll see how we'll achieve this one using java 8 and it's pretty straightforward so simple logic you will uh, use and will achieve this functionality okay so let's jump into uh, coding part we'll see how we'll do so already i have created a class with main method and here I have declared a test as a variable which is list of integer and another is a integer array. Okay, so let's first write a method uh, for testing list whether that list contains duplicates or not. Okay, so always uh, go for a method if you are writing any logic. So for reusability purpose we should go for a method public static I am taking so that uh, no need to create the object and call this method public static boolean return type will take either true or false it will return always go for meaningful method name okay uh, so in in your project always go for meaningful method name so what is the method name we should take here check is list contains not check is list contains duplicate element if we should if we will go for a meaningful name then it will be easy to understand what is that method is meant for okay so here what is the parameter we will take list of integer here we go and how we will achieve this one let me uh, tell you that pseudo core or the steps or the flow. So, first calculate the original length, original length of list. Okay, first we'll calculate the original length or size, how many elements are containing. Okay, so list is a data structure which will allow duplicate elements and it will preserve insertion order. So first we'll calculate that uh, list uh, length of the list. Then calculate. Then calculate the length after removing duplicates. Okay. Again, we will calculate the length by removing duplicates. So now, duplicates we have removed. Okay. Duplicates we have removed. So now, if both the length, L E N G T H, if both the length are same, then no duplicate no duplicate if both the length are different if both the length are different then duplicate duplicates are present hope you got it that uh, pseudo code uh, so we'll achieve these things in pretty simple a single line let me tell you how we'll do this one so we'll use streams concept here so here test dot stream sorry not size stream dot here one function is there distinct so in so distinct will make that uh, list as a distinct list there will be no duplicate elements it will remove those duplicate elements then after removing duplicate elements will count what how many number of elements are present if it is not same what is that test dot 
size. Test dot size return here we'll return dot on count not equal to test dot size okay so this is that logic so here we are uh, making uh, here we are checking if after distinct the number of elements if it is not equal to test dot size so this is that particular logic we have written now let's test uh, this method okay so here let's system dot out dot print ln and let me pass this uh, test one and let's print so currently in test no duplicate elements are not there so it will return false then again we will place duplicate elements ok so let's see the output is about to come ok good so if you will see here it is returning false means no duplicates are there in this list now let's add some duplicate let me add 10 30 okay now again test it will return true after this one we will write a uh, method for uh, to check array okay so yes we are about to get the see it's returning true okay so the method is working perfectly that functionality now let's write a, again the method for a array so for array let me take here integer array integer array is array instead of list is array and in duplicate elements again the same formula here instead of list uh, this would be array. So, how will do achieve this one? So, here let's do arrays. Arrays is a utility class dot stream, and here we'll pass this array test, and from here again the same way dot distinct dot count is not equal to test dot length we are good to go now let's check this method so let's have this one let me copy paste this statement so that we can no need to write again that one here we'll pass this array arr so currently this array is containing duplicates duplicate means it should return true now let's run and we'll see so it will return true because this array containing duplicate it's running so yes we are getting true then let's remove this uh, duplicates and we'll test it again i have removed duplicates now let's run it again okay so pretty awesome we are getting false so uh, this is the logic uh, hope you got it right so uh, thank you for watching and have some valuable comments in the comment section uh, if you want any other videos let me know in the comment section and i do have a lot of interview questions uh, whether it's Code java or spring or uh, spring related uh, rest spring boot a lot of interview questions are there let me uh, know your uh, email IDs in the comment section definitely I will forward those uh, things and it will be really helpful to people okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day